Hi there, students. To macerate, macerate. This is normally with food where you put it in a liquid so that it absorbs the liquid and it gets soft. It, soften, it softens up. So you're going to say, OK, so what's the difference between macerate and marinade? Well, I think if you marinate something, you put it you put it in a liquid with other different things or uh, solid things so that the flavors are absorbed. And that is the idea of a marinade. So I took the pork and marinated it with uh, vinegar and onions and it's to flavor and prepare it for cooking. Yeah, whereas to macerate is to soften something by soaking it. So, for example, if you've got mustard seeds, before you use them, it's bet you can either uh, grind them up or you can macerate them to uh, make them softer so that you can then uh, use them. Okay, so this macerate, it's to soak something in a liquid, which can be heated or unheated, in order to um, soften it uh, or to separate the pieces. So, um, for example, if you've got dried mushrooms, yeah, dried oriental mushrooms. You need to macerate the uh, these mushrooms in water or dried tomatoes. You need to macerate them in a liquid so that they soften, yeah, and absorb the water, and then and then you can use them, yeah. Um, Okay, so to marinate is to put it in things so that it absorbs the flavour. To macerate is to soften by putting it in a liquid, to leave some sort of food in, a, in this liquid so it becomes soft, yeah, or to macerate, to become soft overnight. So you need to mix all the ingredients together and leave them to macerate overnight, to soften overnight, to become um softened by um this uh ab the absorption of liquid um okay let's see in the old days or an old fashioned meaning of macerate meant to waste away to disappear by fasting so um yeah he he became macerated by fasting but this is a very archaic use of this word macerate uh, macerate for, to me to make soft by soaking to soften so that it's e it's easy it's uh easy to use yeah uh macerate ma the the maceration of um a substance you soak it so that you can uh, you can use it so that it becomes soft um yeah the i don't know for example if you use raisins if you leave the raisins to macerate and absorb some sort of liquid for example brandy then they are soft and delicious and you can uh, they're very good to cook with yeah it's something that's softening dried meat if you um if you've got dried meat you need to macerate that with something yeah you need to let it soak in a liquid to um absorb the liquid and become softer or dried fish as well anything that's dried will benefit from uh, maceration from steeping it in a liquid to steep to soak in a liquid um, okay so let's see to macerate formality I think I'm going to give this what mm, a six in formality use Using using um, let's see using a semi formal conversation semi formal or formal writing or in a cooking con context in the context of cooking um, and then as to origin it comes from Latin from maceratus from uh, the verb uh, macero yeah to soften to make tender yeah. Um, and, and that's the idea of macerate. OK, so, yeah, to macerate, to make something softer by soaking it in a liquid so that you can use it.
Okay, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Macerate, macerate.